Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope y'all doing okay because us creators are hiding under shelves trying to avoid the FTC at this point. Uh, Kappa and all this other crap has been going on for a while now and everyone's scared and everyone doesn't want to make videos no more. Uh, I really don't want to to be honest with you. But then I found this. Uh, on my feed today, uh, it looks like there's a Cop Insider update, and I'm gonna post the original video down below, but I'm gonna react to this, and let's see what happens. Let's see what kind of information YouTube's hiding from us. Late last night, I got a phone call from a private unknown number. I answered, and I heard a man's voice. He didn't give me his name, but he said he was close to upper level YouTube management. He paused. And I'll never forget what he said next. I have to tell you what more YouTube is hiding from you about COPPA. In today's video, I'm going to give you the inside story behind this call. All right, let's hit this. Hey, creator, I'm Ian Corzine, your social media lawyer. Let's talk about the events that led up to this mysterious call. I made a video about the collision of interest between kids, creators, YouTube, and the FTC. The kids, creators, and YouTube just want more kids content on the platform so that kids can enjoy it. The FTC, of course, wants to protect kids under 13 years of age from disclosing personal information that may subject them to predators. And of course, no one wants to get in trouble with the FTC, potentially be sued for $42,530 per ching, violation ching. per video, <laughs> ching, and ching, potentially money. have your video taken down and your channel terminated. The problem, of course, is how to create a YouTube user experience that complies with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA, and the FTC settlement in 2019. To solve this problem, YouTube chose to create a system where every single creator must affirm, either at the channel level or per video, that the content is either made for kids under 13 years of age or not. In that weird call I got, the stranger told me that when YouTube came up with this new video marking system, they clearly ignored warnings by the FTC. They disregarded clear COPPA law and they betrayed creators. Okay. So let me pause for a second. Is anybody really surprised by this? They betrayed creators. We don't know how yet, but they betrayed creators. They disregard COPPA law. Considering we have a stupid CEO, Susan Wabajack, basically destroying YouTube. Alright. Are y'all really surprised? Is anyone surprised at this point? I mean, I'm actually not surprised at all. Between the copyright claim bullcrap they're putting on the, and they don't want to fix it, I, this is just another bunch of bullshit, you know? Let's continue. We'll get into the clear COPPA law that YouTube disregarded and how they sacrificed its creators. But for now, let's focus on the FTC's warnings to YouTube before they concocted this new video marketing system. The COPPA law gives us the rule that websites and social media platforms directed at kids under 13 years of age cannot take the personal information and cannot access the web cookies of these children without parental consent. Now let's talk about the state of content on YouTube. YouTube, as it exists now, has content directed at children under 13 years of age. Therefore, it is subject to COPPA law. But it also has adult content and, most importantly, it has content that appeals to both children and adults alike. When I think of content directed at kids and adults, I think of the channel Dude Perfect, the adult men on that channel have a great time shooting Nerf guns, driving RC cars, dressing up in costumes, and children and adults love this channel. But of course, since YouTube has content that appeals to under 13 kids, they've got to comply with COPPA law. Right. Now, allegedly, to comply right. with makes COPPA sense. law, YouTube says they imposed this new video marking system on creators, and it went into effect last week. But for a reason to be discussed later on in this video, YouTube chose to create a system that only addresses the first two categories of content. That is children content and adult content. You have to mark 
under this new video marking system whether or not your video is for kids or for adults. There is no other option. There is no other general audience option where a creator can mark it as good for kids and adults alike. And the guy on the phone told me that this was not the original intent of the FTC when they adopted the COPPA law. The caller then directed me to go to the FTC's website and go to their frequently asked questions on COPPA. I'm gonna leave a link to this particular website page in the description section below. I reviewed the answers and questions again on the FTC website and sure enough, in black and white, back in 2015, the FTC warned everyone that there was a general audience exception to COPPA. Here's the language and I quote, COPPA only covers information collected online from children. It does not cover information collected from adults that may pertain to children. Thus, COPPA is not triggered by an adult uploading photos of children on a general audience site or in the non-child directed portion of a mixed audience website. So what does this mean? It means that four years ago, the FTC openly recognized that there was a middle ground audience. It just wasn't children's content. It just wasn't adult content. It was content that a- Sorry about that. My, my freeze my shift button's not work like it's supposed to. Anyways. Okay, so funny thing about this. So there's supposed to be a middle ground. And I kind of had a suspicion that that was the case. Kinda. But I'm gonna get more into that later after the video is over with. I have a few other things to say, but let's put all the cards to the table before I say what I have to say. Appeal to both adults and children. YouTube failed to address this general audience in their video marking system. They said that to comply with COPPA, you have to mark your video as either for kids or not. But this isn't true. And as the man said on the phone, YouTube hid from us creators that the FTC has no intent to sue creators over content for a general audience. In other words, uh -huh. the FTC is uh -huh. the opinion so. that just because a creator includes kids' themes in their oh videos, boy. Uh -huh. you know, like Pokemon, Fortnite, or board games, just because of this, I would be more angry right now, but I kind of had a feeling about screens, this. Sub notifications, and more importantly, monetization, or be sued. Now I have to tell you, when I heard this on the phone call, I was blown away. YouTube I would be had too. known the entire time about this general audience exception to COPPA, and they hid it from us creators. I asked the guy, why didn't YouTube accommodate this general audience exception to COPPA in the video marking system? He told me at the end of the call, but before that, he said, it's in the law. I was like, what's in the law? He said that the general audience, or what he termed the mixed audience exception to COPPA, is actually in the words of the COPPA law. What? The research and I it actually is in the law. He was right. The mixed audience. The law itself. Coppa the COPPA is law. In the COPPA law. It's in Article the law. 16, Code of Federal Dude. Regulations, Section 312.2. All right, let me paraphrase the law. Why? If you make a video that qualifies as a kid's video under that famous 10 factor test that we discussed in this video, then you don't have to comply with COPPA law. You don't have to get parental consent if kids under 13 are not your primary audience. This new YouTube rule, this requirement that creators mark their videos as either for kids or not is too simplistic. It's overly broad. It does not take into account that there are a lot of creators out there that make content that appeals to both kids and adults, a general audience. This is a type of audience that the FTC law, the COPPA law, clearly recognizes. These creators who elect to make general audience content should not lose their channel features and their ad revenue. Why in the world would YouTube hide this from us? Why would they create a video marketing system that only has two choices, either for kids or not? Well, the guy on the phone had the answer. In simple terms, I have a feeling said, I knew I know what it is. Increase corporate profits. <laughs> if YouTube <laughs> took the transparent approach and approached creators and said, listen, I knew this it. new FTC I knew it. settlement and COPPA law, it. we have to create a system 
that separates kids content, content for kids under 13 years of age from adult and teen content, and then be able to work with a system like that, they would definitely lose money. And Google and YouTube are not in the habit of doing that. Instead of forcing creators to make the Sophie's choice of either killing revenue or risk being sued, YouTube could have spent the time and money to create a new system, to create an age gate, to require that people who watch YouTube videos must be signed in and they must verify that they are older than 13 years of age. YouTube didn't do this and as a result, hung us creators out to dry. The caller told me that he wanted to get this information out there, but he couldn't do it because he feared retribution. He said, you don't know the power of YouTube. So creator, what do you think? Should we tell YouTube that they were wrong from hiding from us this mixed use exception to COPPA? Should we tell YouTube that there are a lot of creators out there? Okay, I've heard enough. You know what? All right, I have a lot to say about this. I'm pretty pissed off. And uh, there's a lot of reasons why. So, one of the reasons why I'm very fucking pissed off is the fact that YouTube lied to us, but I'm not surprised about that because they're scummy pieces of shit. Um, but more pissed off about is that we were fooled. I have... Okay, so... Let's, let's start from the beginning. The age gate. Twi um, Twitch does it. They do... If you're under 18, there's an age gate. You gotta press that button. That's what should have happened on YouTube. I've been said that. My friend's been saying that. P many other creators have been saying that. But we were wondering why YouTube wasn't doing it. Now, there's other people... Now, there's another person that's making a new... YouTube replacement channel. They're making a replacement for YouTube. But they were scared that it was COPPA that was a problem. You, This is what pisses me off the most. YouTube made us creators think that it was FTC and it was COPPA itself that was the bad guys. They were ruining everything. When all COPPA is, is to protect kids. That's all. They're protecting kids from having the information copied. And so people can't prey on them. So their cookies can't be copied. Ads cannot be... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, gaze toward them. Or present... Uh, my head's hurting right now because it, this is just so much. My mind is blown at this point. Um, so, okay. So... Basically, YouTube made us think that was FTC. There were so many comments saying, Wow! Kolkapa is now worse than Article 13. When Article 13 literally is not worse than COPPA, COPPA is just for kids. To protect kids. YouTube is scummy. And now, people are now, now there. Oh, well, YouTube, you don't know how scary YouTube is. One, here's the thing. None of us are scared of YouTube. None of us. We make YouTube money. So the fact that they let us hang out to dry, do as you see, I blame Susan for this stupid crap because I it had to be her to think that if we found this out, that we would stay on this platform. I'm gonna try to get this video around as much as possible so everybody can see this. People need to be aware of this because if this is how YouTube treats their creators, then we need to find another platform. We need to find something else that respects people's hard-earned work and time they put in making videos. That's what we need to do. Not this crap. This is bull crap. 100% bullshit. I had a feeling there was a general audience option. I had a feeling it just did not click. But all this happened so fast. Even I'm part of the bandwagon that said, fuck the FTC. Screw the FTC. They're the ones that's doing this. You know, you know that petition that was going around that has like now probably almost uh, a million signatures on it? It means squat. The FTC is looking at it like, what the fuck is this? The law literally says in black and white that the general, there was a, of a general audience. It was never the FTC in the, per, in the first place. It was YouTube. All because YouTube wanted to be greedy fucks 
and wants the money. But here's the problem with the money. Without us creators, they ain't getting squat. What would happen if us creators, not the small like me, but I mean the big creators, all left YouTube? What would happen then, YouTube? Hmm? You would lose way more money, I tell you that much. Now the secret's out. The cat is out of the bag. And now us creators know how dirty they are. I thought YouTube was dirty before. It is not worth making videos on YouTube anymore. This is what it's become. And now, this is the final nail in the coffin. The final nail. Now it's the fact Now YouTube doesn't care so much at all of their creators. Susan Wabajak, and I signed a petition on that as well, should step down as CEO. Someone else needs to take over YouTube. This is a huge problem, and it's going to shut YouTube down. So you know what? They can keep Google Tube, and they can shut up their ass sideways. That's how I feel about it. And again, I'm sorry I'm so emotional about this, but they fooled us. They made fools out of all of us, making us think that it was somebody else. And when in reality, it was YouTube all along. And I had a feeling behind my brain it was. It was all YouTube. The fact that they disobeyed the law by basically keeping cookies from kids, pandering, basically using the cookies to put advertisements geared toward kids, keeping those cookies so kids can be preyed on by people that would hack into their system and can find all these all this information against the cop of law and they disobeyed it. Now they're making us pay for it. But not only that, not only did they want to make us pay for it, they want to try to keep us on the platform but still make us pay for it. I'm sorry, YouTube. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't pander all responsibility to us YouTubers, us creators, and then keep all the money and not make a general tab. Okay? You can't do that. You just can't. And now that people know about it, I wanna, I'm just going to sit back and watch. We, you thought YouTube was burning before? You thought they were blowing up or uh, self-destructed before? Now that we, people are going to know about this, guess what? It's going to be a, it's going to be hell on YouTube at this point. That's what's going to happen. There, I can, I can see in January 20, January 2020, that YouTube people are going to leave YouTube, and it's going to be a lot of people, unless they change their crap, unless they change their system, and now they have no choice but to do it. By law, they have to put the general tab on there. They have to. They are breaking the goddamn law. Anyway, that's all for me today. I am so sorry about this rant, but I had to get this out because this, just think of this as an update to the last video I made. But that's all for me today. I hope you all have an awesome rest of y'all day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all later.